Yo yo, it's Yurk, and today I'm bringing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make fishing holes from Battle Royale in Fortnite Creative that actually work. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to get these fishing holes in your own creative maps. But before we get started, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point, don't forget to drop a like, hit subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and all that stuff. And if you want to support me, you can use code YurkYT in the item shop, and it really helps me out a lot. But let's get back to this tutorial. So first, we're going to open up the creative menu, and we're we're gonna head to the devices tab. We need to grab a trigger and we also are gonna wanna grab an item grantor and save these to our hotbar. Then we need to go over to the galleries tab and we're going to use the search bar and we're actually gonna be looking up the spooky particles gallery. Open that gallery up and we're going to save the circular smoke to our hotbar. Now we're able to get started. Okay, so start by placing down your trigger device and open up the settings. We're going to turn triggered by player off and we need to turn triggered by damage on. Then we need to set times can trigger option to one so it can only work one time. Then we're gonna scroll down and find the receive damage while invisible option and set this to take damage. We also need to turn off visibility in game. We're gonna turn off the trigger VFX and the sound effects as well. Then we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and we're going to set it to when triggered transmit on channel one and click okay. Okay, now you're gonna take your trigger and you're going to resize it so it's just a little bit bigger. And then you wanna place it down just below the surface of the water like you can see me doing in the video. Next, we're going to pull up the fog from the spooky particles gallery and then we're going to resize it and shrink it down until it looks to be about the size of a fishing hole from Battle Royale. Then we're going to place it right on top of our trigger and then we're gonna open up the settings. First, we're going to change the motion speed to very fast. Then we're going to be changing the smoke tiling setting to 2x. Right below that, we want to set the motion type to ripple, and I like to turn double-sided on, but it's not necessary. Then lastly, scroll all the way down and set the fog to disable when receiving from channel one and click OK. Now all we need to do is set up our item grantor. So pull it from your hotbar and place it down. Open up the settings and we're going to set on grant action, keep all. Scrolling down, we need to set the cycle behavior to wrap. And the last setting that we're going to change is cycle to random when receiving from. And we need to set this to channel one. Now open up the creative menu and head to the consumables tab. Grab all the fish and a rusty can or whatever you want to put in the loot pool for the fishing spot. Then open your inventory and drop all these items into the item grantor. I like to take the item grantor and put it right on top of the fishing spot so I know exactly which item grantor corresponds with exactly which fishing spot. This is so easy guys, so if you want to set up multiple fishing spots, all you have to do is select your trigger, smoke effect, and your item grantor, place them wherever you want the next fishing spot to be, then simply open up the settings and change all the channels that say 1 to channel 2. It's that easy. And if you want to do it for three or four, that's all you do is you just open up the things and set them all to the next available channel. And now all that's left to do is to test them out. When you start the game and you hit the fishing spot, you'll get a random fishing item in your inventory and the fishing hole will disappear. Well, there you guys have it. How to make working fishing holes in Fortnite Creative. That's all I have for this one. So if you want, feel free to check out some of my other videos that are on screen now. If you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and as always,